world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I've shared my experiences with you of what it's like for me to live with autism. Other times, I like to give my two cents as to what's going on with autism in the media and in our society because I'm very interested in stamping out autistic stereotypes and also getting logical with things. And finally, I enjoy yeah, covering topics that I am passionate about because I want you guys to see who I am as a whole because I want to let you know too that I am not a one-dimensional being. And some people want to cage me and they want me to just talk about my experiences of autism all the time and they want me to do this the life and the day of an autistic and I'm not doing that. So. What I will do, though, is I will give you guys uh, some experiences of what it's like to live with autism. And I wanted to uh, mention, too, that uh, it's a struggle to try to fit into our society, and especially if you try to relate to other people on the autism spectrum, and even if you try to connect with their parents. And speaking of which, the name of this blog is entitled The Green-Eyed Parent. And the reason why I uh, wanted to share that with you is because I've been able to prove time and time again that I can break through the barriers of our society and I have been able to prove that I can live on my own. I'm really great at mathematics, which is something that my parents on the IEP thought early on that it was my worst subject. Well, it turns out that I'm a visual thinker and I also somewhat think in patterns. So. That's one thing, and I've been able to prove that I can live on my own, ride the bus everywhere, I can take care of myself, I can groom myself, I know how to say no when someone's trying to take advantage of me, and I know the difference between a friend and a fraud. I mean, a fraud, like a friend, so. How, I mean, I know, too, that there are people that want to hear my story, and I've been on various panels now, and... I'll be on even more panels, and even Damon Wood wanted to hear my inspirational story, and I thank you for that. But there are people on the other end of the coin who um, have been jealous of me, and I'm talking about parents. These are parents with people with severe autism, and they've been told by our society time and time again, and by the special education systems, well, they can't do this, and they can't do that. And, They've been uh, brainwashed so much that they think their child is actually broken. And when I have tried to interact with these people, they just don't want to have anything to do with me. I mean, they talk down to me. They, uh, they talk down to me. They make me feel bad. They accuse me of being selfish. They get smart with me. I mean, I've seen them shut me out of things like their child's birthday party. I've seen... Uh, them refuse to come to my housewarming party because I because I broke through the barriers and their child didn't achieve anything and I've also seen them refuse to get me any kit cards or gifts and yet everybody else was so much more important but they weren't on the autism spectrum I mean I didn't get any graduation cards either from these people or anything so that's one point so again I mean it goes both ways I mean they talk about pr people on the autism spectrum having a hard time seeing other girls our age doing this or that, and yeah, I've had that too. But it's not fun, and it's uh, not easy to deal with some of these parents. I mean, and I am sorry that you struggle with um, your child, and I'm sorry that you were brainwashed by the IEP system. But you know what? That's not your fault. That's just the way our uh, system is. There are a bunch of arrogant blokes who... Um, want to make a big sum of money and because they think they know better because well, for whatever reason. So first off, that's not your fault. At the same time, I know that I'm always going to run into people who are jealous of me no matter what I do. But at the same time, I can't be a people pleaser for these kind of people or, in, or parents. So anyway, if you have any questions or comments, please be sure to comment below. And if you would like to share this, please be sure to do so with your autism support groups and autism centers and with your psychology students that want to become autistic specialists. And anyway, yeah, please also be sure to subscribe to my channel. So I will see you next time. I'm Maya Sundermeyer.